Synchronicity is the result of the dynamic interaction of each contractic element whose activation and thickening are finely regulated to allow the most efficient ejection of the blood into the pulmonary and systemic circulations. Each of the myocardial fibers is activated by the propagation of the electrical impulse, which triggers cellular depolarization and the consequent activation of the contracting proteins. On a regional level, this process results in myocardial thickening and hence a movement of the endocardial layers towards the center of the cavity, ejecting blood out of the ventricles. Depending on the methodology used, the one set of the myocardial contraction can be identified as the moment when the electrical impulse reaches the contracting element, one set of electrical activation, or the time when a region starts to thicken or the corresponding endocardium starts to move inwards, one set of mechanical activation. Intraventricular desynchrony results from the inappropriately early activation of the right ventricle, then the uh, left ventricle that causes septal uh, displacement and motion, and hence abnormal septal perfusion and decreased cardiac contractility. On the other hand, intraverticular dyssynchrony is the consequence of the inhomogeneous contraction of the different LV segments, some activating early while, while other late during cardiac cycles. Segment contracting early do not contribute to ejection, while the contraction of the delayed segment occurs at higher, at higher stress, ultimately reducing myocardial energy efficiency. The interest in the evaluation of ventricular synchrony has come from uh, the recognition of the synchrony as one of the major reversible players of heart failure progression in particular. However, only the introduction in clinical practice of cardiac synchronization therapy has transformed the evaluation of ventricular synchrony as a necessary step in patient disease management, guiding risk stratification and therapeutic decision making. Nuclear imaging has long represented the only technique to obtain quantitative measures of ventricular desynchrony. The concept behind the assessment of ventricular desynchronies with all nuclear techniques is the application of Fourier harmonic phase. This is. Uh, so the application of Fourier harmonic phases analysis to gate data set to define the moment in which each myocardial segment starts to contract or the one set of mechanical activation. This analysis is feasible with all gated nuclear imaging techniques, including blood pool gating, first pass ventriculography, as well as <clears throat> Uh, perfusion single uh, photon emission computer tomography, so perfusion standard spec, the one that you use generally for the evaluation of stress and rest myocardial perfusion. Moreover, at variance with the evaluation of the synchrony with other imaging techniques, phase analysis is almost automatic and operator independent, allowing a unique standardization and the repetitivity of the results. So this is a very important concept. In gated myocardial perfusion imaging, the RR interval is divided into a variable number of frames uh, from eight to 16 per, C per cycle. As the frame progress during cardiac cycle, both location and intensity of each myocardial segments change periodically. The wall thickening curve provides a phase anal angle analysis that ultimately represents the one set of mechanical contraction. This, uh, this is this one. A phase distribution is uh, generated by integrating the phase analysis of all different myocardial regions, providing a comprehensive assessment of the global three of the desynchrony on the light ventricle. The phase distribution can be displayed uh, in a polar map this one, uh, and in an histogram, this one. In the absence of myocardial desynchronies, the phase polar map is uniform and the phase histogram is narrow. And this one is not the case, as you can uh, see. In addition to the graphical representation of the synchrony, 
uh, by means of either a, polar, a phase polar map or a histogram, at least two continuous measures are available for the absolute quantification of synchronicity, namely the phase standard deviation and the histogram bandwidth. So all these numbers are very important to evaluate and to set a cutoff uh, for this synchrony. In this case, this is a, a patient with uh, uh, LV ventricular dysfunction with a clear evidence of intraventricular dysynchrony, as you can see by the curves and the histogram. So we know that uh, CRT is one of the most effective treatments that are currently available for patients with uh, uh, heart failure. However, despite the significant technology advancement, uh, um, all, not all patients benefit from CRT implantation. And so we need uh, an accurate uh, patient selection and risk stratification before the implantation of uh, the lead. The presence of an extensive, extensive scar uh, tissue may hamper response to CRT. Um, as a matter of fact, patients with uh, extensive uh, scar tissue, so a big area of necrosis, have a low likelihood of response to um, CRT. Uh, moreover, according to the current uh, guidelines, only patients with a significantly uh, prolonged QRS, mainly with the left van der Blanche block, are currently candidate to uh, CRT. However, consistent disagreement exists between electrical and mechanical dyssynchrony, so that many patients with a narrow QRS may still have an asynchronous LV mechanical activation, while a sizable fraction of patients with uh, LVBB may not. Finally, even in presence of uh, significant LV mechanical dyssynchrony, the response rate to CRT depends on the ability to implant the pacemaker lead at the level of the most delayed myocardial ventricle viable region. Different non-invasive cardiac imaging modalities have been used to guide optical lead placement in CRT re recipients. Uh, with some evidence showing that a multimodality assessment uh, uh, regional mechanical that should include evaluation of myocardial viability of regional mechanical dyssynchrony and possible uh, coronary venous anatomy might uh, allow patient screening and uh, procedure planning and uh, the better outcome in terms, in terms of response to CRT. So at the end, MPS may offer a combined evaluation of cardiac perfusion and function in the same imaging session, allowing, allowing the precise identification of the most asynchronous myocardial region in unison with a precise assessment of uh, regional cardiac viability. Uh, so uh, phase analysis may be used for excluding patients with borderline QRS prolongation, even if uh, in a uh, uh, patient with LBBB uh, from CRT implantation, since only a limited portion of those may, represent, may present significant mechanical dyssynchrony. This is a case where uh, there is a huge uh, response to CRT. And in this case, you can see the, that the histogram is uh, at the end uh, uh, very nice and there is an homogeneous contraction between uh, the two ventricles. So the response uh, to treatment in this patient is uh, uh, completely um, well done. So uh, thank you very much for your attention and I hope that this uh, mini video could be of interest for you.